Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. Yeah, let's... Wow. 75 degrees. Let's check my mail, and I've got a few questions to answer. Some folks uh, left a few comments. One of them was a uh, fellow by the name of Juan Rojas. I hope I got that spelling right, Juan. And uh, sorry about the delay. He was asking me if it's possible to remove the fan shroud while the engine is still in the car. And, you know, uh, part of me wants to uh, just say, yeah. <laughs> and I think I even did that one time. Yeah. It's uh, going to be a real predicament because the fan is lined up underneath this portion of the body. And as I recall, in order to put things back together, I had to drop the motor. That's the last time I tried that. And you know, there's so many things that you can do while you've got the engine out of the car or dropped down on the ground. You pull that fan shroud off, you can get at things easier. You for sure want to remember and change spark plugs while you got it that far. Looking for oil leaks and just odd maintenance. Make sure you get the little bird nests off of the top of the, the cylinder tin. Uh, if yours is a stock setup, you know, you're, it's going to be a wrestle. It's just going to be a wrestle and a hassle. And trying to get the new one on, you really didn't go into details what you were doing. But uh, I would say no. Even on my uh, Baja, I wouldn't do that. Uh, look how that swell, the fiberglass comes off. But you still have that same piece of uh, cowling in the way. So that's why I like Baja. A lot less interference in the back when it comes time to drop the motor. But then again, you have weather getting on it. And you can see where uh, I oiled the linkage here and it's starting to build up. Uh, so I would say you probably can, depending on what your project is, but getting in things back together, it isn't going to be worth the hassle. And you, you don't want to be three miles from home and have the thing overheated or broke down or some problem. I know it seems like a lot of work to uh, somebody the first time, but it, it really isn't that bad. Uh, now, there was another comment. Uh, Jay Hopper. He was asking me about the aftermarket heads. I had made a video on the, the Chinese heads. I got them from CarCraft. They were pretty damn reasonable price, I'll tell you. Uh, real reasonable. I can't remember exactly, but uh, you can go to CarCraft and, and check them out for the dual port heads. They even carry the single port heads. And that is, I, I bought them for my 1800 and I ended up putting them on the two liter just before the trip because we kept breaking the rocker arm studs and I left the racial rockers off and did a couple other things uh, put the aluminum push rods in there and just buttoned her up and headed off down the road and I really haven't touched it since it's just been uh, working great you will have to clean up some of the the casting uh, in between the fins and you can do uh, do that with a hand file or you could do that with a uh, uh, a cutting disc on a on a grinder but really wear a mask you don't want to be breathing that aluminum dust that's big 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 no no careful of your eyes be safe and uh, we're just gonna keep it short today and answer those comments so I want to thank you all for watching and please subscribe Hit the like button, whatever you want to do. Take care. Hope your day is going well. Easy Jeezy out.